Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing the Transformers 1980s re-release of Beast Wars Megatron. Yes! And yes, I've watched the Beast Wars cartoon from the 1980s. This is Transformers Beast Wars Megatron. Based on the 1980s toy. This is the 1980s toy re-released for a new year. Generation. These are all the other figures I don't own. I got Rat Trap. I don't have Cheetor. I don't have Optimus. And I don't have Scorponok. Ones I'm definitely going to go back and pick up is Optimus Primal, Cheetor, and Scorponok. But yeah, this is made by Kenner. Probably wonder what year this box came out in 1980s, but this is not the 1980s box. The Pacific. Let's try to look up the year. It's probably the 2000s, somewhere here in 2021. So... Close enough. But now we're going to look at Megatron himself. This is a nice looking T-Rex mode. Even the head is really nice. Got a nice T-Rex tongue here. This part, I think, used to press it. It could squirt water, but I don't know how to work that. So, I can't... I don't know how to work it. But now we're going to transform Megatron, since that's... Before we transform Megatron, we're going to do some Beast Mode comparisons with these comparisons I got with other Beast Wars figures. 1980s Beast Wars Drill Bit. This Crab Predacon, I just don't know his name, but he's kooky. He's like a crab, why not? 1980s Beast Wars based Rat Trap. Why not? Because I got Rat Trap. Kingdoms. Repaint of Vertebrake. As a Maximal. Mickey D's Toys, 1980s. Based on Tarantulas. Almost. Why not? Ah. Optimus Primal. Because he's Optimus Primal. Why not? Yeah, dare I say, why not? Deluxe Class Rhinox. I couldn't get him in his beast mode. Real shame. But here is what he looks flat like next to that. Another Mickey D's. Beast Wars toy. My custom Ravage. And now we're going to transform Megatron. I got this transformation memorized. First we split right there and then we that arm like so if I can get this to work off camera let's work on camera come on come on And there we go. We got him partially transformed. There's his head. And now we're going to rotate these down. Like so. There we got Megatron with his main arm. Rotate these little heel spurs out. Rotate the legs like so. And there we got Megatron in his beast mode. Be like, yes. 
And yeah, I have a 1980s Beast Wars Megatron. Love this figure. And he stands pretty well for a 1980s Beast Wars character. And we got this for 24 bucks when this was a 40 buck figure when it first came out. I'm just glad to have it for my Beast Wars collection. But now we're going to get down to robot mode comparisons. Why not? Say why not. I got Rat Trap, I'm transforming off camera because I've memorized his transformation after a while of having him. So pretty cool if I do say so myself, I can memorize good transformations after a while. Here we got Rat Trap next to Megatron. And he is quite bigger than little Rat Trap. Rat Trap is smaller compared to Megatron, and he has our trouble standing. What do you expect? This figure is really loose. Here we got Rhinox, who is almost as tall as Megatron. Why not? Transformers Robot Classic Heroes Optimus Primal from the Classic Heroes line. Why not? Dare I say why not? He's almost as big as that. That's all the stuff I have almost based on the 1980s. But now we're going to transform the repaint of Vertebrake. Just because he's a repaint. But a pretty good repaint if I do say so myself. And he's a fossilizer, so he's technically made of bones. But here's my fossilizer and my other Predacons. Other Maximals here on the shelf. I don't have a lot of Maximals here. I really don't. But now we're going to do some other 1980s Beast Wars bots. Drill Bit. The Crab Guy. I don't know his name. Many of you know who... If you know who he is, then leave me a comment. I've had him for a long time, but I don't remember his name. Never did. Of remembering names in my book. And his arms pop loose. It happens with this older figure. His arms like to pop loose out of the ball joints. He's pretty old. Today's standards. Why not? Okay, I apparently put the arms in the wrong position. I gotta go pop them out of the ball joints and then put them in the right position. Oh, my careless mind some days. That careless. Yeah. One arm done, now the other. Still backwards. Sorry this video's taken longer than I would like, but he got his arm on backwards, apparently.
is nearly transformed into his robot mode. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Huh. And here is Drillbit transformed next to Megatron. He can't stand up on his own. That's my only nitpick with this figure. He can't stand up. He doesn't have the right heel spurs to keep him from falling over for a 1980s toy. Same goes for this guy, the crab guy. I'm calling him Pincher. Why not? Dare I say why not? And just because, here is Beast Wars Megatron next to the closest thing I have to Beast Wars Tarantulas from the Mickey D's line. And Shadow Panther, a.k.a. my custom Ravage. Why not? So he's got most of his Predacons, almost. That's all there is to say for this review. If you liked this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land. But these figures are a lot of fun from the 80s, why not? Now moving on and rock on and rock out, yes. My Beast Wars Megatron impression. Bye.